Today is Sunday, March 27, 2022. Uh, I'm here with uh, Pat Ganin. Hi, Pat. Hi there. Uh, Pat, uh, please say your name, your age, when you joined the club, and perspective of the club. Well, my name is Patrick F., and I always put the F in there because I have a son who has M, Matthew, and it's been uh, conflicting at times. So my name is Patrick F. Kaneen. I'm, uh, I'll be uh, 89 in a couple months. I joined the club in late 1969. All right, Pat, All tell right. us about this picture. This picture over here. Tell us about Philip we're Hunter. Talking about legends. There's so, so many legends here. And this is one of the bigger ones, Phil Hunter. He was considered the master of the tides in the bay. And everybody referred to Phil Hunter when it came down to a swim. And particularly Bobby. Bobby used to really love him. And he was, in his early days, he was a champion oarsman. And that's when rowing was real big back in the 20s. And this this plaque here came off the off the south end, or that one did. That one came off the south end. I forget what this was for. But there's trophies and pictures of all over this place. It's like that's an early day, and here's a later day. This lady here, Rainy Pierce, was one of the first South Enders females to swim the English Channel. Everywhere you look, there's different things. It's the uh, all the winners of the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. There's a whole story to this this plaque. This plaque was stolen, but if you read the text, of how we got it back. And uh, this is something that uh, we had a, our president here. At the time was Ray Minkle, who was a true Korean war hero, big time. And we were best friends, and I didn't even know it until later on. But anyway, when uh, we needed a new flagpole, I, all I wanted was one that was taller than the dolphin. And he said, no, we're going to get a, one of these. And the best decision we had in a long time, that's a, a real yachtsman's flagpole, because you can fly many flags on it, like, like that one there. We have South End, the city of San Francisco, and the American flag. And the plaques here are members of the year, donors. Just... Oh, this is a Scully. Catalina Channel Swim. And above that is the father of Aquatic Park. His name was John Ed Scully. And he was president for eight years, and he was very responsible for Aquatic Park becoming San Francisco's swimming hole. And if you want to know more about him, it's in the book, the South Bend Rowing Club book. But he was in the early days, from 1872 to 1932, and he was a president eight years. Nobody's been close to that. Distance runners. Another legend is. Uh, Guardian America. She won the 100 mile race from uh, Squaw Valley to, uh, uh, what is it? Where is it? Those, from Squaw Valley to, I forget the name of the town, either, oh, like two or three times at an advanced age. Yeah. Yeah. And he, uh, he died very young. Very beloved guy. He was a great athlete. That was a finish of the, one of the triathlon swims. And as you see, it says uh, South End Rowing Club, 608 points, Dolphin Club, 230 points. <laughs> and this is, this is the uh, triathlon plaque. I mentioned that that was part of my coffee table. And I also was an engraver. If you run your finger up here, I made a mistake. I didn't put a, I didn't put a dash in when I engraved it. So what I did later, I took a piece of black electrical tape. That's electrical tape. That's not, uh -huh. that's not engraved. And then that one was when we brought it back. I 
think those were early day presidents. Not all of them, but there's there's at least five presidents in there. South End president. Okay, who's that? Oh, I know, it's Al Capps. Capps. Capps, let's see. Yes, that was Bert Capps. He was the first guy to swim across Lake Tahoe. And you asked about the first woman to swim at the gate? Yes. She wasn't a member, but she has a South End rowing club. See the South End on her chest? Her bathing suit? She's the one that, and that's her, that's her father who was an Olympic club member and a South Ender. Huh. And she uh, was the first woman to swim the gate, though the other two women were faster. That's Hazel. Langenor. Yeah. I'm gonna. This here we, was a, a project that went on in San Francisco high schools. They made a, these little kayaks out of one sheet of plywood. And we had it for years. And then someday, one day somebody took it out on an Alcatraz tour and it broke up and it was gone. There's Bird Cass. This guy was a good friend of my dad's. That's the chief of life. That's, that's pretty historic, this picture. That's Supreme Court Justice. He was a member? No, he was a visitor. Okay. The guy next to him is a San Francisco police chief. That, that's Tom Rice. Tom Rice, yeah. He was a noted football player at USF, and then he, he got into professional wrestling as the mask barber. See, I remember that. I think and I saw was, him on YouTube. He was Farndor's best friend. Who? He was George Farndor's best friend. Okay. This is pretty unique. There's Farnsworth. This had nothing to do with the South End at all, except the guy who gave it to George. This was historic, this one. The uh, San Francisco's own ship, the uh, Jeremiah O'Brien, sailed from San Francisco all the way to Normandy and back with a senior crew the whole story to that here but anyway uh, we rode out to welcome them when they came back that's the ship coming back and there was so, there was so much bedlam out there at the gate that we couldn't get close to them there were pleasure boats fisher boats airplanes cannons going off so we just turned around and rode back to the club we said well let's go down and have breakfast so we, while well, we were rowing down to red's java house a tugboat was pushing the Jeremiah into the dock, and we waved him, saluted him, and unbeknownst to us, a photographer from the San Francisco Chronicles took this picture of us waving our hats and celebrating, and it ended up on the front page of the Chronicle. <laughs> and we didn't even know it until the next day. Wow. He was responsible for the flagpole. But he, he was quite a, quite a hero. Here's a picture of the very first triathlon that started at Stinson Beach. Mm. In fact, I'm making one right now for the old timers lunch. Okay. When's that, Pat? The old timers lunch is this. April, April 18th. And this is an old one. <laughs> this one has, uh, it has seven presidents of the South, six or seven presidents, which is unusual. He was a president, 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 he was a president. But there's six guys in this one picture that were presidents of the South End Rowing Club. Well, That's pretty unusual. Yeah. Um, why is that? 
because if they get reelected every year. Or? Every year, it just so happens they they were elected and they remain members, active members. Don Beer is a handball player. Paul Cummins is a swimmer. Nate Caligari, Tarantino, Rudy Stadelberger. What's it? Lincoln Mustang. What's his name? Anyway. But there's six six South End presidents in that one picture. And this is the chief of police son, Charles DeLay. He was also uh, president emeritus of the University of San Francisco. And he was an active swimmer. Great guy. Charlie DeLay. Some people say DeLay, some people say Dulier. I don't know how it's pronounced. This is an early day one. This is another, uh, these were the runners in the uh, triathlon against the Dolphin Club one year. And here's my old bathing suit, my old bathing suit, <laughs> and my goggles. It even has my name on it. If you look close, I think, yeah, right there. Okay, I use these in Hawaii. That was before swimmers had good swim goggles. They didn't have, we didn't have swim goggles back in the 60s. And I, when I lived in Hawaii, I had a pair of these and I kept them and I used them. And the swimming suits were like, like baggies. <laughs> and we had to swim, you had to wear one of these. So the reason for that cap wasn't to keep your head warm, it's for visibility. No, you, wore, you wore a bubble cap underneath that. Mm. You know, those women's bubble caps. Okay. And then you had to put that over for uh, safety reasons. Right, the color. Yeah, and the number. Okay. And here's Norm Peterson, very famous rower. They still have a Norm Peterson rowing regatta. Yes. These walls have a lot of history, a lot, a lot of history. Here's a Bader Baker swim we were talking about. That's a killer swim, 1999. They named the Cook Shack after Louis Corella a long time ago. Okay. And I, what's this one? 1932, that was before I was born. <laughs> well, God, I would like Merced. Lake Merced was considered for Olympic rowing venue, but then Long Beach built their harbor and they had it in Long Beach instead. Hi, right, Pat. Thank you, Pat. Yep. Yeah.